Hello, it's Wednesday the 10th of March and for breakfast this morning I have got an apple and an easy peeler for speed and a coffee using some of my Healthy Extra A milk. For my dinner today I've got yesterday's leftover chilli with a jacket potato which is free. I've got my apple that I didn't eat earlier and another easy peeler for speed and some sugar free squash. For tea today I've got a lovely chicken curry that Jeff has made. He's put some lovely speedy carrots in it and some potatoes that are free. I've got some boiled rice which is also free. The curry itself is going to be two sins because he's used some Mayflower curry sauce in the sauce when he made it and it works out two sins per person, per portion I should say, per portion. <laughs> For snacks tonight, I've got my Healthy Extra B, which is a skinny Dream Rocky Road and a skinny Crunch Orange one, and a coffee with some of my Healthy Extra A milk. So I'm ending today on two sins, two sins, which obviously for me is very good, but I don't feel like I need any other snacks tonight, um, even though it's been a hell of a day, hell of a day. So I went into work, sorry if you can hear my washing machine. Um, I went into work and put my car, well I reversed it because there's no space in the normal car park I go into, reversed it, put it into first gear, heard a big clunking noise and then it just did nothing. So my clutch would go down and up but I couldn't put the car into gear so I had to roll it and then push it, me and my friend who's also the chair of government at the school were pushing my car. I'm standing outside trying to steer it and push it honestly if I'd have had that on video, it would have been something from a comic strip, I'm sure. Comic strip? Comic scene. Yeah, so we were pushing that, trying to get it in a safe place because I was stuck on the exit to the school, which was 20 minutes before all the buses were due to come in and it would have just caused absolute chaos. So I needed to move it. We managed to move it, although at one point it did stop and it was because I was not steering it very, very well because when you're steering it and trying to push it at the same time obviously you can't see the other side of the road which was where the curb was but then once we found out that it was the curb it was absolutely fine so my car now has gone to the garage locally because we had to get the tow man out to do it and luckily I've got um, roadside assistance so they managed to sort me out with a courtesy car and I didn't even know I had that thankfully I've got it so I've got a little courtesy car and yes my car's being done because the drive shaft has gone apparently but they're going to charge me money to assess that even though the recovery man told me how much it what uh, what it was i don't know and my cold sore see all the stress my cold sore is growing by the minute oh, look, look how awful it is. look at my hair i've been caught in the rain i don't know how many times obviously just on one side of my head today yeah so it's been been a pretty eventful day then Jack rings me and says oh I've got a fine and I said where have you got a fine from he said the car park in Tesco he works in Tesco his car is registered there so that he doesn't get fines but now we're worrying because he didn't have his log book for four months that he's had lots more fines and they've all gone to the other person so we need to look into that tomorrow on the plus side the baby had a feeding tube fitted last night because he wasn't taking any feeds but that's come out today and we're hoping that he'll come home tomorrow so I might get to see him because I might have to pick him up we'll see so enough rambling for me today thank you so much for watching ending today on two sins and I will see you tomorrow